I'm Rory Reynolds and welcome to A Closer Look, the Nationals weekly show where we take you behind some of the biggest stories in the Middle East. The UAE's private school education market is worth billions of dollars. Just this week, Talim Education, the country's second largest provider, announced its intention to float on the Dubai Stock Exchange, raising as much as $200 million to invest in new private schools. This week, we're going to take a closer look at the UAE's private education market. So joining me this afternoon is um, Anjana Shankar, one of my colleagues. This week we're going to talk about the UAE's private education market, um, a popular topic among parents, particularly when it comes to things like school fees. Um, this week we're talking about education because the t- uh, two of the country's biggest education groups are in the news, Talim Education uh, and also GEMS as well. Um, Anjana, the, for our listeners and viewers, um, give us an idea of the UAE school market and why it has become such, um, such a profitable one and such a big one as well. Yeah, um, you know, UAE's educational landscape, I think, is one of the biggest, most vibrant uh, in the in the world, uh, especially because if you're you're looking at 200 plus different nationalities living here. So the educational landscape is catering uh, to that market, and UAE is also a unique market in terms of every expat family that lives here they have to pay school fees because public education is only open for Emirati families. So, you know, that's a huge market for the investors who are interested in education. So, you know, there has been an exponential growth. And I think another thing what makes the educational landscape in the UAE very different from anywhere else is also the the diversity of curriculums that are available here. So you were telling me about Russian and Chinese curriculum. Japanese. Swiss scientific, that sort of thing. (laughs) Tell us a bit about those. Yeah. um, you know, because they have to cater to this diverse population here, as I said, different nationalities looking to have an education that will suit uh, them when they go back. So there are uh, different kinds of Indian school curriculums, American, British, IB, Russian, Chinese, Japanese. Uh, there are 17, more than 17 different types of curriculum offered by the private education providers in the UAE. I think that's that's a very impressive number. This is huge business. Um, the, the reason that um, uh, Talim Education is in the news this week is that they're going public on the Dubai Stock Exchange. They're applying to raise hundreds of millions um, of dollars to open new schools. You were telling me just earlier, um, every single year as the population grows, I mean, Dubai's population has grown by 100,000 in the past year, according to official figures. Um, So this is a growing business. And, you know, every year after the summer, there are new schools that we've never heard of before. So just give us an idea of what those are like and, you know, perhaps why we're seeing some of these companies were were valued at billions of dollars. You know, to put your question in context, uh, look at the, the number of schools that opened only in Dubai in 2021-2022 academic year when we were at the peak of COVID. 10 new schools opened in Dubai, adding 15,000 new school seats in the Emirate alone. So I think it's a very resilient um, industry and everybody needs education. Uh, And with UAE giving a huge push for an economy which is based on education, trying to um, attract families with the revised visa rules, uh, and more and more families looking at the UAE as the most preferred uh, country to settle. One very crucial criteria that they look at is when they make that decision is the quality of education Mm -hmm. for their children. And just to sum up, what are we likely to see in the next couple of years from your point of view? Um, Enrollment numbers are going to grow, more teachers from around the world are going to move here. So just give us an idea of what we might see popping up. Talim itself, uh, you know, told the National in an interview that they are planning to have four new schools uh, adding to their portfolio of already 26 existing schools. GEMS, the biggest uh, private school provider, also planning to go IPO. They have currently 44 schools under their umbrella in the UAE and Qatar. So they are also adding new schools. So I think it is a 
it's a reflection of what we see in the UAE um, as a country where it is exponentially growing in different sectors. So new communities coming up, new residential properties coming up. And every time there is a new residential property coming up, you see a new school. So, mm -hmm. you know, so that parents can move in there and there is, you know, all those facilities ready for parents. So I think in the next five years, the growth is going to continue. We just have to look at how school sector, private education sector grew, even during the most challenging COVID period. Even during COVID, there COVID, were new schools opening. New schools year, so. open. So there's no reason why we should doubt that, you know, there won't be an increase in the total number of private schools and school enrollment in the UAE. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's a really good insight. Thank you very much for joining me. Um, we're going to be reading more about the to the IPO and more about um, new schools opening. Um, the planned public um, initial offering is for later this month and uh, the private education certainly is going to be in the news uh, for the foreseeable future. So thank you for joining us for a closer look and we'll see you next week.